My name is Kevin Payne, and this is Franklin Boulevard Media. I grew up in Gastonia, North Carolina, um, very proudly so. Um, to, to be quite honest, I, I grew up uh, being a gym rat and uh, playing basketball, AAU basketball, junior high basketball, high school basketball. Um, outside all the time, uh, running around with my buddies, playing ball, and um, really spent a lot of time, you know, whether it's basketball, baseball, soccer, you know, football, I was there. I was the only child, only child, and uh, uh, and I grew up uh, in a neighborhood called Woodley, right beside Gaston Day School, right off Gaston Day School Road. And, you know, I, I ran with a group of guys there, and um, those were, I mean, back, that was back when, you know, you know, every, all the kids played outside in the neighborhood, you know, and um, that, that, that neighborhood doesn't have a whole lot more kids, a whole lot of kids now, but, um, but yeah, I mean, so I, that was predominantly where I grew up. You know, when I grew, when I was playing ball, um, you know, I, I was just like any other kid. I wanted to play in college. And, um, you know, that was always, uh, you know, I was, the Rod Howards, the James Worthies, uh, the Sleepy Floyds, you know, you, you grow up in, in your hometown thinking that you want to be just like those guys. So I started off at Sher Sherwood Elementary, went there first through fifth grade, and then uh, went to Robinson Elementary, uh, my sixth grade year, then on to Greer Junior High School, and, uh, and then Ashbrook High School, I finished up, graduated in 1995. Well, you know, it was kind of, once I figured out I wasn't gonna play basketball anymore, you know, I figured out that, you know, cause I, you know, a lot of my, my guys kept growing and I didn't. And um, so I, I knew that I needed to focus on my studies. Started off at Western Carolina and, um, you know, went into college, didn't really know what I wanted to do. Western Carolina is a wonderful school. It's a beautiful place, but it's just not really my kind of weather. Uh, so I went there for two years and um, I knew I wanted to have a social life and, and wanted to have that same bonding that I had with a lot of my buddies back in Gastonia. So I pledged a fraternity at Western Carolina, Sigma Chi. And, uh, but um, when I left, to, in, to go to NC State, Sigma Chi actually embraced me at NC State, and um, but it was really sad to leave Western Carolina. I wish I could have taken all those guys with me. I was I had not declared my major yet. No, I did. I you know I knew I wanted to go do something with when I was interacting with people. So when I got to NC State, I play uh, I uh, started uh, in the communications uh, uh, studies. So I. Declared my major as a communications major my junior year, and um, really loved, really loved it. And I thought, you know, as time progressed, I thought I was going to end up working for maybe Nike or Adidas in their PR group or something like that. Um, but you know, like I said, I had that bonding with my fraternity brothers, and a lot of them were going into banking. So I started asking more questions about that. Um, you know, because you know, a lot of the guys that, I, that were going into banking, you know, they weren't numbers guys. They were just like me. They just like to talk to people. They like to help people. They like to solve problems. And um, so, uh, you know, that became more intriguing to me. So I uh, graduated from NC State in 2000 and uh, had my first banking job with a regional bank in Cary, North Carolina. Uh, you know, small town here. And, uh, well, it was a small town then, but it's... Uh, Kind of a suburb now of Raleigh. So started off there, was there for about three and a half years, ended up at another regional bank, was there for another eight years. Bounced around from uh, Raleigh to Goldsboro and then did some stints in Fayetteville and uh, Washington, North Carolina, in the Greenville, North Carolina area. And then in 2016, that's kind of when my professional career really started to take take a turn when I when I came to work for North State Bank and I learned I have learned and continue to learn at North State that you know we, we're helping people 
but we, we serve a purpose bigger than ourselves. And we take great pride in that. Um, I talk to the president of the bank often, and uh, he reminds me, um, first thing he always asks me though, is how, how are you and your family doing? And, um, and I just think that, that, I think the world of that, you know, that's just that personal touch that, because they, they, they've embraced my family as if it's their own. And um, he reminds me, better is better than best. And I've never thought about that. You see, I mean, you, you remember me. I always wanted to be the best. I always want, you know, I was always grinding, always, always working, always tried to be the best at everything I could. But he, he reminds me every, every time I talk to him, better is better than best. Always be better today or better tomorrow than you were today. Try to always focus on getting a little better and better every day rather than just trying to be the best because if you claim yourself being the best, then you've stopped learning. Yeah, I got into shag dancing. I grew up with the music, but see, you know, I grew up with the Sam Cooke, Earl Bostick, Joe Turner, you know, I, I grew up listening to that music. And I, I, but I never learned to dance. Well, when I, when I got into banking, I also met some people that danced and they introduced me to a guy who was teaching shag lessons and he started teaching me how to dance and I started competing and probably within a, almost two years I turned pro and uh, danced on the pro circuit. And then I, back in 2002, um, you know, had the opportunity to dance with a lot of ladies and um, but one caught my eye in 2002 and that was when I met my wife Jennifer. And that's when we were started. We actually were competing against each other in the National Shag Dance Championships in 2002. And she beat me that year. <laughs> really? Yeah. They have a national competition, um, but it's it's. But to to say it best, it's more regional. It's more North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Georgia, Florida. Um, not many dancers, not many shaggers in. Uh, California, but that's right. And the National Shag Dance Championships are held at uh, North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and uh, it's 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 a it's a wonderful hobby. I met some lifelong friends, some great mentors, um, wonderful people, wonderful people, and one in particular, my my beautiful wife. We actually, uh, but I also do a lot of teaching. I, I've danced. Uh, probably golly almost 25 years now but I also I, I, I have a passion for helping junior dancers kids you know probably I've helped them from eight years old to 21 years old I, I knew I always there was always something uh, inside of me that always wanted to be part of the community in in dancing or in that in, in, in that music just because I connected with it so much I it, it really takes me back to when my dad, um, I would sit uh, in a big armoire where he had a huge stereo and I would just look at his albums uh, for, for hours, you know, the vinyl albums. I would look at them for hours and I, and I would ask him, you know, but what about this album? What about that album? And he would tell me stories about these, um, about these artists. And I just, the Clyde McFadders of the world, he was from Durham, North Carolina. You know, he was part of the original Drifters, you know. So, I mean, it, I just, all of that, I just, it, it was, it became a heartfelt uh, obsession to me because I love that stuff. I love that stuff. And so when I wanted to compete in something and knew it wasn't going to be basketball anymore, I was like, you know, maybe I need to look into the shag dancing thing. And, and it really, it really just took off from there. So I'm the market president in Garner, North Carolina with North State Bank. So what I do is I oversee the commercial loan portfolio, the, the consumer loan portfolio, all the operations, uh, and all the, um, all the business development efforts. Um, and I report directly to our chief people officer who, who um, manages all the market presence in the bank. I've been uh, with uh, North State Bank now for uh, eight years. Uh, I, I, shortly after I joined the bank in 2000. 17, because I joined in October of 16, but in May of 17, they moved me into the market president uh, role. So it was, uh, it was it was a great opportunity, and it's just been a good fit thus far. My advice to you is 
is to embrace the people around you, the good people around you. Um, no matter what, no matter what, what the origin of the friendship is, you know, embrace those friendships. Uh, embrace, you know, the mentors that come your way. You know, they're there for a reason. Um, embrace their advice. Embrace, embrace their guidance, because it's 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 it, money can't buy it. And you know, be hungry, stay humble, and just keep moving. I went back to Gastonia a couple months ago. My dad uh, had some health problems, so I went and checked on him. You know, my mom and dad, you know, I had good parents. You know, they, they, they stuck by me through thick and thin. They were always my biggest fans. And, you know, they, they took me from, you know, from soup to nuts in a lot of, in a lot of different ways. And, you know, I, I miss my mom and dad. They're, luckily, they're, they're still with us. Um, but I'm, you know, they, I, they, they help shape who I am, and I'm very grateful for that. Golly. I don't, I, I, I go by Ashbrook High School and I'm like, yeah, I recognize this, but then I hang a left <laughs> down and I'm just like, I, I don't, I don't recognize this place. I mean, all the way over there where the Hickory Tavern and all that, all that's new and, you know, cause I remember you, you used to turn down and you go through Bradford Heights and all that and, and that we used to play ball down there. Yeah. yeah. yeah and I mean, I miss, you know, I mean, I, I kind of miss that <laughs> cause I, I wanted to take my, when my, my oldest daughter got of age before she, you know, started to, you know, really figure out what was around her. I was going to take her down that neighborhood, that down at the, the courts we used to play at. And, but I mean, it was all gone by then. So it's really good to see my hometown flourish and grow, and and so many good people have come from Gastonia. Um, and you know, because growing up in Gastonia was just, it was a lot of fun. You can, there's a lot of good people there that can take you down the right path. And I'm just very thankful that I came from there. I would like to thank you. I, would, I, I, I have uh, really, really enjoyed reconnecting with you. You know, coming down, you know, memory lane a little bit has been good for me. And uh, I think my, my wife has seen somewhat of pep in my step here the past couple of weeks as I've been reconnecting with you. So. And it means the world to me that you got to meet my family. So thank you for being who you are and doing this and promoting our hometown and, you know, no Gastonia.